And welcome to HQ Words. Tonight is pop music night, buddies. You guys ready to pop, rock, and drop it? I'm your host, Timothy Dunn. You can find more words and pictures of mine in any of the places you want to look. I'll give you a little tip right now. This is where to find me. How about that? Here's some things about me. I have a dog named Tiny Taco Party. I'm friends with Anna in real life. And I'm a real Wordle McNurdle, buddies. So you're in good hands. Let's just relax and have a really good time tonight. How about that? And I promise you that I am not relaxed because tonight I get to give away $2,500. But in order to get there, I am so excited to ask you to spin the wheel around my face for your letter. This is my first official letter wheel, and I'm very excited to be able to give you a free letter. See, I'm building goodwill through gifts and acts of love. I'm a nice guy, and I'm happy to be here. You having a nice night? I'm glad you're having a nice night. Now, whatever le letter the wheel landed on is yours for the whole game. It's time for the first puzzle. Now, the faster you solve, the more money you can win. You know that, you've played before, so let's get it going. Here it is, buddies, puzzle number one. Now, your hint is first name in music. And since this is the first puzzle, I'm gonna help you out a little bit here. Type in the letters Y, R, and L. See, three more freebies. I'm a really nice guy. And I will say that this person, the answer is a person's first name. This person is said to be a really sweet person. Some people love country music. I happen to love country music. Other people don't. Some people like this artist. I think she's great. Uh, I mean, she's great. You know, that's time right there. How'd you, how'd you do? Do you get in the answer, of course, Taylor. Short for the num the queen, Taylor Swift. Congratulations to the 171,000 of you who got that correct. Taylor's here to stay. Like her, don't like her. It doesn't really matter. She's doing her thing and we're proud of her. Great job, Tay Tay. Now, your next hint, puzzle number two is big winner. Did you watch the big award show, buddy? The one that was on a couple nights ago? Now, did you see all the stars and especially one star who was super spray tanned and gorgeous? She was up for a few of the trophies. She walked away with one. She did a little sing with a guy who's a hunk, right? She's from New York. She's known for being a little extra in her stuff. She wears crazy clothes sometimes. Maybe she wore an outfit made of, I don't know, meat. That's it, that's time right there. Did you lock your answer in? Now, of course, the answer is Lady Gaga. Old Stephanie Germanotta herself from New York City. 170,000 of you still in the game. Lady Gaga is great, right? You can love her antics, you do not love her antics, but she's so talented, she's so good. And we appreciate that. And speaking of really good, our good buddy Anna Royson will be back tomorrow night with a very special Lord of the Rings themed game that is just precious. Okay, was that precious thing a little too creepy? Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I had an idea, thought I'd just try to go with it. You know, as you should grab all your little elves and ogres and hobbit friends and go through it right here tomorrow night at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. You know, like right now, but tomorrow, like the future. You know how time works, all right? Back in the game. And you're crushing it, buddies. We have 176,000 of you over that still in the game. And speaking of crushing it, can you tell me this viral dance move? Do you crush it on the dance floor? Since we're getting to know each other right now, you show that I am quite the dancer and that I know this dance move. Now, it's not the stanky leg, okay? but it is definitely stanky leg adjacent. Is that a thing that you would know if I say that? It's pretty easy to do. It's just some stepping and touching. There's some arm movements involved. Uh, it's named after someone who's pretty famous who you should know, and that's time. Do you have your answer locked in? Ooh, all right. The answer, of course, is the Dougie. And I will teach you how to Dougie, teach you, teach you how to Dougie. All right, I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm an okay dancer, not the best, okay? But the Dougie, congratulations, 117,542 of you are still in the game, and I'm happy about that. Do you all know who Dougie Fresh is? Dougie Fresh, go ahead, I'm an old head. Go and Google Dougie Fresh. Find who that is, let me help you. And listen, while we're being internet friends here, can you please keep on crushing this game, buddies? There's over 146,000 of you still in the game. And Drake is an artist who is definitely still in the game and crushing. So do me a favor and type in this Drake meme song. 
Hmm. Now I know you're like me at home. You're scrolling on the little phone, seeing all the little memes, and this meme was a beast. It was everywhere. People were hanging out of cars. There were all these children with long hair dancing on sidewalks. Uh, it was too much. There was even some light mime work involved. People miming, maybe driving a car. That's time right there. Did you lock your answer in? This is a tough one. And the correct answer is, of course, Drake's In My Feelings. And I must know, Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? I shouldn't be singing this either, but that's okay. Congratulations. We had 40,000 of you drop out of the game, and that's okay. I'll pack you an apple in your lunch, and we'll send you off to school, because, buddies, you got schooled, and that's okay. You know what? Pack some extra lunch money next time. Take the bus. We all make mistakes, and it's okay. We have over 106,000 of you still playing the game, and let's focus on positive things now. Things like excelling at your passions. I don't know. Reaching your own higher heights in your life. That's nice. Getting to the top of your own list in your life. Right? And in that vein, what is this good list to be on? Hmm. Now, when you're crushing it in life, sometimes people make lists, and sometimes those people put you on them in magazines or on the internet. I don't know. Lists of people. Some of the people have different temperatures. Some of the people are a decade old. Some people on these lists are musicians or actors, but this list is a numerical list of musicians. Some of them are getting, oh, that's time right there. Did you lock it in? This is a tricky one. The answer is the Hot 100, the Billboard Top 100, a tricky one. 72,505 of you crushed it. You're hot patatas yourself, and I'm proud of you, buddy, for getting the right answer. And guess what? I'm proud of everyone playing this game today, so let's keep that celebration going, because we are halfway through the game. Only a few more puzzles to go until you win, big buddy, and I'm here to help, you know? We're having fun, right? This is fun. I'm having a nice time. This is fun. Your next hint for puzzle number six is 2012 Coachella Surprise. Now, I've never been to Coachella myself, but I know that it's a place filled with, I don't know, influencers and lots of anthropology tops, girls in the feathered earrings and crafty hats that people make at home. Now, this famous person made an appearance at 2012 Coachella without actually being there. It was a mysterious sort of situation. This person disappeared from the music scene in a, oh, there we go, that's time. This was tricky, this was tricky, all right? The answer is Tupac Hologram. Do you remember that from 2012? It was creepy. Now, that was a brutal question. We lost 50,000 of you on that one, but that's okay. The, the Tupac hologram was a tough one, you know? It looked just like him, which I know is the whole point of the hologram, but you know, a little too creepy for me. I believe in ghosts. I believe in superstitions, so we're going to focus on nice, good things right now. And I have great news, because our nice, good girl, Taylor Swift, old Tay-Tay, is back in the game. Go ahead and drop a Taylor Swift a little emoji in the chat room if you're there, if you're a Taylor fan. Here you go. Your hint is misheard Taylor Swift lyric. Now, I know we already talked about her earlier, and she's perfectly good and fine and lovely, right? She's great. Uh, she would lots of talk about young people flirting and fawning over each other. Sometimes they're eating and drinking, maybe enjoying an afternoon cup of java on an after-school rendezvous, maybe with a crush. Maybe you're at a chain coffee restaurant, and you're looking, uh, that's time right there. Did you get any of those clues? I'm trying to help you out. Do you see what I'm trying to do here? The answer, of course, is Starbucks. Lovers, I'm a lonely Starbucks lover. People say that I'm insane. I'm insane to keep singing. I know that, but that's okay. We're having a good time. Starbucks lovers, we have 18,845 got that correct. Mwah. My compliments to the chef. Uh, Taylor's great. Her music is great. I don't know, maybe I'm just old. You know, I think, I feel like I'm so slowly turning into that old sack of bones hollering about kids' music these days. Uh, and because I am unofficially an old man, this next clue makes perfect sense to me. Okay, here we go. Can you tell me? What's on MTV? Hmm, do you know what MTV stands for? It stands for music television. Did you know that? For years, there was this place on MTV where you could turn in every day and see Britney and Justin or maybe little baby Kelly Clarkson. I feel like Jessica Simpson and Pink lived on the set of this show for four or more years. But you'd come home from school and you'd watch. People could call in and make suggestions about things they wanted to see. That's time right there. Ooh, I hope you got this. The answer is Total Request Live TRL. 13,887 of you are crushing it. I'm very proud of you. I was in the audience of TRL once. I went with my sister Meg, and I was much too old to be there. They asked me a question about one of the current pop artists. I didn't know who it was. They put a microphone in my face, and I messed up. I really embarrassed myself. What a fun memory to share. What a cool thing to tell you right now here on HQ Words. But look how far I've come, right? Uh, uh, here we go. Look how far my star has risen. Oh, I don't know. Speaking of which, who are these 
massive crossover stars. Now I'm talking about two music musicians from two different genres coming together to make something real nice, buddies. Crossing over from one genre or one region of the world. I kind of find it hard to believe that you guys wouldn't know this one. Oh, come on, you know who these two guys are, right? They're two young, handsome guys. The song's nice and up-tempo. You can really shake your hips to the song. That's time. Do you know this one? This is gonna be a tricky one. I think we're gonna lose a bunch of our buddies on this one. That's okay. The answer is Luis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee. Have you ever heard of a little song called Despacito, baby? We have 10,000 of you have never heard of it, apparently, but that's okay because this is it, baby. You just made it to the final question. One little thing that I wanted to mention. Okay, well, we have one more question to go, and then you're gonna bring home all the bacon, buddies. You have one more question to answer right now to win. So let's do this thing, right? Buckle on up, buddies. I believe in you. We're gonna do this together. Your final hint today is Pop culture question. Now this is a tough one because it's the last question, okay? But this would be a good question to ask around Halloween maybe, when you're looking for a costume to go to a party or trick-or-treating for a bunch of people. Maybe you want to dress up in a theme costume, a group. Maybe you all want to look like you belong to the same group, but you have different flavors maybe. You have different outfits, different takes on the world. Does that make sense? Are you with me now? That's time. I really hope you're with me on this one. The answer, of course, the is which Spice Girl are you? And O M Goose Buddies, we have 4,763 of you got that one correctly. Congratulations! I'm a ginger spice, by the way. Thank you so much for asking. To the 2,441 who hung, hung on there into the very end, I'm proud of you too. We got winner, winner, chicken dinners left and right in this game, and I'm proud of you all for playing. Congratulations to our number one winner, Future Cider. Bringing home 100 buckos. We have Chad 1M giving me 75 bucks. I'm giving it to him actually. And good old Coffee Dad. He's a Starbucks lover. He's a, a $50 prize. And everyone else, all our winners, we're gonna split the prize money for you. Don't worry about doing the math. We'll do the math for you. We won't make you do math after you have to do words all night. You know, we'll, we'll help you out. And now that's the game for tonight. That was easy. Congrats to all of our winners and congrats to all of us for being kind to ourselves tonight by playing a nice, fun brain game together and having some, sm some fun and some smiles together, right? Tonight was really fun. I've been your buddy, Timothy Dunn. Go say hello to me on social media right now. And hey, maybe I'll see you again soon. Maybe I've just been a, a spooky hologram this whole time. But regardless, I had fun. I hope you had fun. The word queen, Anna Royson, will be back tomorrow night after HQ Trivia at 9.30 p.